Hello everyone, welcome back to Doc's Custom Corner. Tonight we're going to show a few of my uh, Ram Chargers Dodges that I've got built up. Uh, a good friend of mine, he goes, his first name is Marty. I'm not going to go into last names here on the channel. I'm not sure if they like their last names announced, so we'll just leave it at Marty. Um, he's a really big, huge Ram Chargers nut. And I started building some of these projects years ago just to kind of egg him on a little bit. He and uh, Frank, another friend of ours, are always going back and forth between kind of teasing each other with drag projects and seeing who can outdo the other one just to tease and neg each other on. So I kind of got into the mix years ago and started building these just to get at Marty a little bit because he's always getting at Frank. It's kind of a fun little <laughs> thing to watch these guys go at each other, but that's what makes our club and groups so much fun, although, isn't it? Because I'm sure you all have got somebody like that in some of your clubs that you belong to. But uh, I'm not going to talk too long about this car. I'll talk about the other two a little bit more. But this one is just built straight out of the box. Uh, Ram Chargers Dodge. I want to say it's the AMT or MPC kit. I forget which one it even is in the helmet. Like I say, it's built right out of the box. I didn't go into too much great detail with it or anything. I just kind of threw it together, threw the decals on it just to put it on the shelf and say I built it. Kind of a cool car, though turned out pretty nice for what it is but I like the old front engine dragsters of yesteryear sitting down between the tires and letting that smoke roll off and them slicks is pretty cool but more coming by now y'all are probably wondering what's going on with these stinking squirrels what's the business well myself and I'm sure quite a few other people do as well I've got ADHD so I'm always one project to the next, pinging like a ping pong ball, going back and forth. So whenever you see the squirrel, that's kind of what this is about. You know, that whole idea of squirrel. And then something pops into frame. Kind of funny how that works, isn't it? It just gets a little crazy. But hey, anyway, it's all fun. This is uh, one of Jimmy Flintstone's resin Dodge vans. Um, Jimmy Flintstone lives not too far from me. So I used to, before all this pandemic stuff hit, he used to stop by there on a regular basis, and I see him at the AMG Model Car Club meet once a month when I used to go. Like I say, with the pandemic, I haven't been there quite a while. I've got kind of a special needs daughter, and with her health, I don't want to bring home any of that stuff to her. So I kind of keep it at bay as far as where I go, where I don't go kind of stuff. So I've just been staying home and kind of building models when I can. And this one's probably four years old five years old give or take somewhere right around in there um sitting on a little red wagon chassis and it's got an aftermarket you can't really see the engine in here too well because it's of course buried inside the truck and i wish i would open the doors up on the side so that they can swing the doors open and see the engine better but try to kind of kind of nice Heavy engine wire in there. But... Be a loud ride to hear that blower whining behind you and sitting inside that thing. But... That's what makes it fun and interesting, right? Left the passenger side window out. That way you can get some airflow through the, through the truck to feed that thing. And there goes the sump up again. It took me uh, two kits, I think, two or three kits to get enough candy stripes to do the roof, and I just left them kind of tapered off at the back. These are decals off the Lindbergh 64 Dodge to build all, to, all to build this one and the next one I'm going to show you. Ram Chargers Rail, those are actually the kit decals. This would be a handful to drive. Try to drive that thing down the strip. If that thing would ever get sideways, you'd be on your lid. But be fun and interesting. Okay, now for the next one. If any of you have ever perused Jimmy Flintstone's catalog, I'm sure by now you've probably all seen this body. Um, I did the master for it and sent it to him, and then he cast it off and then put it out on the market. But uh, this is probably something that you probably wouldn't really see done this way but it's one of those what if cars 
what if it would have happened? What if Mopar would have done this? And what if Ram Chargers would have put this on the drag, drag strip? Not sure if anybody's ever picked one of these up and done something with it yet, but this is what I did with the one that I got back from Jimmy. Uh, I usually, he sends the, the original copies back to me, but I don't ever use them because he said there's so much mold release on them and such that they probably won't ever get paint on them or stay on them. So he always sends me a, a copy of the, the body that he does for me, one or two. But in this case, I just use the resin body that he sent back with it. <clears throat> Um, this was built once. I had it almost built and the body cracked out on me. So then when I had it, I put it, redid the body work on it, had it back in primer. He saw it and says, you got to give me that body. So I stopped down by his place one day and dropped it off along with a couple other ones or another one. I mean, at the time, but what's cool about this is the, the power plant and it. it's not your typical eight cylinder Hemi course me being me i gotta be a little bit be, be a little bit different and go just that extra mile further so what i did with it is i stuck a you know let me get the body off here stuck a viper v10 in it with the supercharger sitting on top put that down here <clears throat> Get a little bust the wheelie bar off here that's the Viper V10 engine <clears throat> with a funny car in and out box on the back of it. Supercharger with a stretched intake. I cut the intake a little bit longer for it. Basically just the intake flanges where they meet the, the heads were stretched. But Carbon fiber, that's the resin scoop on top. I, don't, I think I got that through competition resins. Put carbon fiber on it. Carbon fiber is flaking off over the years, but <clears throat> but like I say, I got to be different and just be a little bit oddballish. So as I was building this, the idea to put a V10 in it just kind of popped into my head and thought, hey, that'd be kind of cool. And again, this is just one of those what if cars. What if Ram chargers were around modern days of you know, today or the early, you know, mid-90s, whatever it was. What if one of them had the idea of putting a PT Cruiser on the drag strip as a funny car and having a little fun with it? And this is kind of what I came up with. But again, 64 Dodge Limburg kit. Supplied the decals and stuff for it. Monogram funny car chassis, of course. Back windows closed off. <clears throat> this one turned out a little bit nicer because the other the kit that I had I had the the kit headlights and kit taillights in it, but this with it all being molded into into the body looks makes it look more like a funny car you know one piece body and such so it turned out pretty nice to get Jimmy's copy of it and such. So. But uh, that's it for my candy cane fixed tonight I'll uh, kind of put them all back in the view here once it's whoa dropping a rail here I usually don't build these rails where the tires turn for that reason when you pick I always pick them up by the tires so I can move them when you pick it up by the tires on this one they want to turn so that'll give you a little side-by-side -side comparison of all three of them together <clears throat> been working on a Milner rail here lately I wish I had better decals for it because the, de the kit decals aren't the best but I'm still plugging away at that just about got it done I got headers to put on it and such and I like the old like I say again I like the old open wheel fed, oh, you know, fed dragsters front engine dragsters and I just like rails in general but been around drag racing. I grew up at Byron Dragway, so I've been around drag racing quite a while. But uh, that's it for tonight. Uh, take care, everyone. We'll see y'all soon, or talk at you soon, and we'll see you on the corner. Have a good one. If you haven't already done so, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon. Click the notification bell to get future videos. 
automatically sent to you so you know when the new stuff is coming out. Thank you. Have a good night.